data scientist you know, according to me is like that little more I I'll define what that little more is uh, you know it's gone through that uh, metamorphosis over a period of time so when we started uh, statisticians were treated as data scientists you know and then people said oh statisticians are great can you do that little bit more can you do programming uh, well then you had a bunch of folks who were statisticians who could program and then uh, we had that little bit more again can you write can you do some analysis can you do some prediction and then that added a bit more and then now we are at a stage where you say you can do analysis you can do programming you can do that prediction but can you do a bit more and that bit more is now getting into ai you know deep learning can we bring in core math can we bring in biology can we bring, can we bring in something else typically uh, everyone says like three three skills that you need for a data scientist one is your coding or hacking skills math and business domain uh, it so happens that the market we are in uh, typically in india bangalore uh, coding and hacking skills are pretty easy easy as in like it's ab available in ad abundance math yes we have folks the the business acumen or the domain is a skill which i personally believe has has been kind of underplayed a little bit i personally put a lot of em emphasis on that why am i doing something is the most important aspect if i am trying to solve a problem is this the right algorithm to address that problem that is most important in my mind i would not go and uh, deploy a very uh, complex or uh, you know exciting stuff or cool cool algorithm at work if it's not even needed so that's where i would start and this uh, uh, you know acumen or um, this develops over a period of time but i think that is one important dimension which we should not overlook you need to be a solid computer scientist you need to be very good at math you need to like math because a lot of data science is basically math right it's a lot of statistics probability um, a lot of optimization linear optimization and things like that um, i wouldn't tie myself to any one set of languages or one set of tools it's more important to kind of have your basics and fundamentals set right right and then a layer above that whenever you think about a data scientist you're not someone who's just sitting in your company or wherever you are and coming up with models and coming up with a set of numbers you need to be able to interpret that and show the value of what you're doing to business or to product right that's why your communication skills the ability for you to uh, surface insights to take a set of numbers or a column of numbers and say this is what it means people have spoken about uh, jack of all trades not being a good thing i think data science is one such place where it is proved wrong it is good to be a jack of all trades you need to have multiple skill sets every skill set plays a important role be it analy analyzing data be it coding be it hacking or you know be it algorithms be it data structures everything plays a role that's what you look at but if you look at the fundamental skill set inquisitiveness is definitely one of them be inquisitive about if somebody is inquisitive about, about whatever he or she sees i think that is the biggest 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 uh, you know skill set that a data scientist could have no algorithm is tailor made for a person or a solution it is a generic thing unless or until you don't understand the math behind it you will not be able to tailor make it for yourself when we see people applying to us and saying hey we want to be data scientists with you guys uh um, we asked them okay all right cool tell me why did you choose this algorithm uh because there was a python library okay so that's not that's not data science right uh so why did you choose this okay if i change the problem in this way and i may and i tell you that you have a binary classification problem and you'd have too much of one label and not enough of the other label how will you change your approach if you're able to answer questions like this then you're kind of getting on the road to uh being able to crack your data science interviews fundamentally they look at the fundamentals number one right the first thing right they want people to be very strong in statistics the second most important skill is just your normal hacking skills your fundamental software engineering skills third thing which i would uh, you know like folks said that uh, domain knowledge is uh, always important you know that's completely agreed uh, but uh, one thing unique i've heard from a lot of other people is they look for creativity or a verbal storytelling attitude in the data scientist right so tools that people typically use these days and will kind of put you in good stead when you're uh, you know saying that you're a data scientist you typically want to know uh, python you'd want to know r these are the 
common languages that people use today for data science. Um, and I think the best way for people to get themselves kind of going would be to plug themselves into the data science community. So that may be something as simple as going on to Kaggle and, uh, you know, which is a machine learning community, look at the problems listed there, try to solve one or two problems, go check out a UCI machine learning repository. There are a bunch of data sets there. Take a data, data set, do something interesting with that data set. Uh, try to find a mentor. Use your contacts, activate your network, and find out if you know there are people who are willing to even take you on for like uh, an unpaid internship, right? So that you can get your hands dirty with data. But if you have to consciously put your effort on something, I would say the second element, which is the math part of it, that is very important. It's you know with the advent of all those uh, the open source technologies. I mean, lots of things are pretty readily available. You know what kind of analysis you can do readily. But the math behind that is something which is very important. If you know that, you can do wonders with that.